Hey everyone, take a look at this Wicked White 2021 Ford Expedition Max. It is in the limited edition package with the Stealth Upgrade. Definitely a really good looking machine with all kinds of features. Let's check it out together. Under the hood is the powerful twin turbo V6 engine. That 3.5 liters made into a 10 speed transmission. Lots of power, power to tow, and still really good on fuel for the size of a vehicle. You see these quad beam LED HID headlights are fully automatic, including auto high beam. Nice fog lights to go with those. Love the black note expedition thanks to the stealth package. It also has all around camera system here in the front and back and both sides. And you have front sensors on the bumper. So if you get too close to something, those will beep at you. It's can also park itself. This big, beautiful behemoth can park itself, which is pretty cool. You see these stealth rims that look great. The machined aluminum alloy with the gloss black accents. The mirrors being blacked out look awesome. They do have that camera in them. They are a power folding heated memory mirror with a blind spot detection system in them as well. So that lights up when someone's in your blind spot. To get in or out of this vehicle, you can just put your code in here and it'll unlock, or you can put your hand inside the door handle to sense the heat from your hand and unlock. Then you can just press this button with your thumb it'll lock and your mirrors power fold in super classy it also has this key fob here with unlock lock remote start power lift gate and alarm or you can download the ford pass app and do that anywhere in the world from your phone for free really nice tinted windows look great against the white paint when we unlock the vehicle and jump inside first thing that comes out is power folding running boards which are so nice the stealth interior has this awesome red accented stitching this does have the captain's chairs configuration in the middle so you've got middle row buckets again i love all the stitching these rear seats are super comfortable and they're heated you can see we've got the heat controls we also have usb plugins and inverted power supply has the all weather matting for all three rows up top is a huge panorama sunroof with power shade letting in lots of natural light as we come to the back of the vehicle you do have these rear backup sensors there's a trailer tow hitch underneath that garnish right there and then you can either open the glass or the back hatch there you see the max telling you this is the big bad boy and then if we open up this power lift gate it's going to open that up and you can just see look at how much space is behind that third row tons of room and if we want to fold down that third row, we can just hit a button right here and that's going to power that down and then you can truly see how much cargo space you have you also have usbs in the back for the third row and you can power fold from either there or the buttons on the side there and then you see that gorgeous interior and if we press this button here you can actually put down the second row and look at how much space there is that's just incredible let's go to the front of the vehicle and check out some of those features it's just going to open the driver's door here i always like to show off the door stickers for any type of capacities the vehicle has to offer so you can see all of that there on the driver's door you do have memory functions unlock power folding mirrors power windows this does have a bang and olsen stereo system sounds amazing up here, you can actually put the headrest down on the third row if they're getting in your way. Power lift gate, your set it and forget it headlights and fog lights, interior dimmer switches, power adjustable pedals, emergency brake, power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Then you have this 10-way adjustable heated and cooled seat. Very, very comfortable. Let's jump inside. Okay, now that we're in here, we're gonna hit the push button start. It's gonna fire things up for us. And we've got a nice digital, Play here you can see a digital speedometer in there and you can read out a whole bunch of other information on the steering wheel we've got controls for that display we also have adaptive cruise control so it'll slow you down with the vehicle in front of you on this side you've got controls for your stereo voice control and phones this leather wrap steering wheel is heated feels like a warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning up on the dash you've got a pocket to put things with a center channel b o stereo speaker which sounds great then you've got a nice touch screen here up top this does have hill descent control it also has trash and control four-way flashers lane departure system engine auto off and that around view camera system i was telling you about for parking which is really nice you can actually change the views on that camera if you want and then in here it does have a hard base navigation system um, so it's great for putting your information in it also has apple carplay and android auto so this can become your phone your maps from your phone your spotify your podcast all that can come up here when you 
down below you've got your volume controls for your stereo we do have dual climate control um, so i can do my side or my passenger side with digital readouts your air conditioned and heated seats your fan control right here and then you've got a nice pocket if you press this it's got a wireless charger as well as usb and USB C connections for our 10 speed transmission we can actually turn this dial to shift it to drive if we hit the m for manual mode we can shift up and down through those gears using this keypad then we do have two high settings, four set it and forget it automatic four wheel drive, a four low and a locking rear differential. Drive modes, if we turn this dial, you'll see the display change. We can go from normal, eco, sport, tow. We can go to uh, sand, uh, mud and ruts, or we can go to grass, gravel and snow. So a bunch of different modes to drive in. Then this does have that self park feature I was telling you about, and it has uh, the ability to turn off the sensors front and back. So self park, if we press this button, it's gonna come up and start asking us if we want a parallel park or if it wants to have us leave a, a parking stall. So a bunch of different options with that. I love the trim and the stealth. When you open this up, you do have lit cup holders, which is really nice. We've got a big center console, then upper and lower section and 12 volt in there. On either sides of the screen here, so you've got a trailer backup system with a trailer brake controller, really built to tow, and then a 12 volt power supply. It's an electrochromatic auto dimming mirror. We've got some map lights and controls for our power sunroof and power shade. Speaking of shades, you put your sunglasses in there, and then you do have garage door openers up top. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Do me a huge favor and click subscribe to this channel. If you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified every time I make a video. If you like this one, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks everybody.